Okay, join with Gaffer Ross Jenkins before we travel to Dartford for our final pre-season outing tomorrow. Ross, first of all, how do you reflect on that 2-0 win over Hendon on Tuesday? Yeah, some really good bits in it. Um, obviously, the heat, I said after the game, the heat played a factor of maybe how it was so slow first half and a little bit sticky, but it was quite slow for both teams. Um, thought we played some really good stuff at times, though. I mean, we, we went through the game, we've clipped the game, we showed the boys the good bits and the bits that we need to work on. Uh, each game, they are showing that they are taking things on board. Um, again, to score two and keep a clean sheet is really important. So good habits of winning games as well. So overall, as much as it was, um, wasn't the most entertaining game in terms of uh, the pace of the game, uh, solid win against good opposition. They, they made it hard for us at times. So uh, you know, give credit to Hendon. They, they make it a real game and a challenging game. The heat is obviously a big factor. Um, but it's important we got through the game with no injuries, uh, clean sheet, two goals. Uh, now we move on to Dartford. And before we move on to the game tomorrow, obviously with the return of Gus as well as the signings of Junior Dixon and Abdul Abdul Malik, how have they been settling into the squad? Yeah, really good. Obviously, um, Junior's just come in. Abdul was involved. Uh, Hendon had a little uh, glimpse of what he's about, 20 minutes or so. Uh, really lively player. Got loads to learn, um, but he's got attributes that we definitely need throughout the whole season. Um, and Gus came in and, and was calm, reassured, um, played simple, kept things ticking, exactly what we, we really wanted from that midfield player. Um, and Junior's come in with fresh legs, um, so he's an exciting one, he's a young one, he's got lots to learn as well, but we can definitely use his attributes throughout the whole season. It's a long season, so boys need to know that they're going to get minutes in the tank um, and hopefully we'll get some more minutes into him at Dartford. Yeah, and we know um, Abdul Malik impressed a lot of the supporters. Would you be able to go bit more in depth into his, what you made of his performance? Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't um, too long, yeah, 20 minutes or so. Um, again, glimpses um, doesn't make you a footballer just because you show good glimpses. It's got to be the, the overall package. Um, he's got a lot to learn. His fitness obviously needs to, to come up. He's not been training with us. So loads of things we need to work on, but you can tell, you know, he's got an eye for the attack. Um, he's a bright spark. He, he can create something out of nothing. He'd give you energy running forward, um, but it's the defensive side as well. He needs to, to learn and everyone's been really good this preseason on adapting when we're in possession, out of possession and, and getting the work done. So he'll be no different. Same as Junior, same as Gus. Um, we've got to do the work off the ball and in possession, you know, you, you, you had a little glimpse and how he can play is a lively one, but that isn't enough. You have to work for the team and you've got to run back and you've got to run for the club and, and everyone's got a duty to do that. So um, really happy so far. He's been really bright in training. The new boys have been really bright. Um, the existing boys have made him feel really welcome, which is really good. So the change rooms, it's got a nice feel for it. So um, we take that into Dartford now, but hopefully another positive performance. Yeah, you mentioned the change room. Um, what is the atmosphere within the squad like as we go into that final pre-season outing tomorrow? Competitive, hard working, together. Um, breakfast is really bubbly and loud every morning, which I want it to be. If it was quiet and sad, there's a big problem. You know, boys are taking responsibility to welcome the new ones. Senior ones are stepping up and making sure the ship is settled in the dressing room. Um, they police their own rules. It's really good. It feels good. Um, as staff, you know, we have our staff group as well. And so far, the dynamic of the staff has been really good as well. So on the pitch, off the pitch, we're moving forward. Um, but yeah, from a, from a changing room feel of things, you know, I think it feels right. We needed to add a few more bodies into the group. Um, competition for places is healthy. Um, as much as some boys will disagree because their shirt might get taken at some point, we are a collective here and we, we're moving for the same goal and that's to win games of football as a collective. So whether you start a game or you finish a game, you're just as important. And finally, looking forward to Dartford tomorrow with it being our final pre-season outing, is it a matter of it being a final fitness exercise or is it an opportunity to take winning momentum into the start of our league campaign? Both, absolutely both. Um, as many minutes as possible, ready for the first game taking those good habits into the next game and hopefully that will translate into the first game of the season. We know it's going to be a tough game. Dartford are a good club. Um, they've got a good fan base. Hopefully there'll be a nice pitch, good atmosphere. Um, but it'll be a real test like all the pre-season games have been. They've been really difficult and definitely ones that we've um, wanted and needed uh, and benefited from. So I expect no different. I expect the boys to run through walls and, and, and lay it all on the line. They've got energy. They've got fitness now. Um, the last little top up before the season starts is important. But at the same time, the boys need to go out and um, express themselves and play with confidence. And that's what I want. I want us to play with confidence. I want us to be dogged out of possession. I uh, want us to score goals and I want us to keep clean sheets. And I think every club want to do the same. But we've shown some really good glimpses over pre-season that we can do it. And last game was a, a prime example of that. So, um, yeah, we look to take that into Dartford and hopefully kick on for the start of the season. Cheers, Ross. Cheers.